All right, so we have a question. And the question is, is if you're given the equation f of x equals x to the third minus 6x squared plus 8x, and you want to find a line that goes through the origin and also runs tangent to the graph of the equation that we're giving. Well, we can tell right away, seeing as uh, the equation equals 0 at the origin, that that's going to be one of the points. And the next point that looks fairly obvious is right about there. And I don't see any others that would meet this qualification, so uh, logically we're looking for two lines. But we'll see if that works out mathematically. Now, how are we going to go about this? Well, let's start by finding the derivative. Seems like a good place to start. That's 3x squared minus 12x plus 8. All right, that looks a little hard to read. Fix that mistake there. All right, so there's our derivative. And we know when we enter an x value in for the derivative that it's going to give us our slope. Well, another thing we have the slope equation is y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. And if we say y1 x or sorry y2 and x2 is our origin, this equation becomes y over x. Well, we actually have y in terms of x. That is our original function. So let's plug that into our slope equation. It gives us x to the third minus 6x squared plus 8x and that is divided by x. Now if we cancel this stuff out that's going to equal x squared minus 6x plus 8. And that's an equation for the slope. This is an equation for slope. So let's set the two equal to each other and see what we get. 3x squared minus 12x plus 8 equals x squared minus 6x plus 8. Well, the 8's obviously cancel. We'll cancel one of the x squared out with the other side and this negative 6x with this over here. And this will give us 2. Made a little mistake there. This will give us 2x squared minus 6x equals 0. And we're going to factor a 2x out from that, which will give us x minus 3 equals 0. And that will give us factors of 0 and 3. So now let's plug this into our equation and see if this works. Um, if we plug in 0, our slope will become 8, and our original function put that there, will be 0. So 0 checks out. Now let's see if 3 works. If we take f of 3, we will get 27 minus 54 plus 24. That equals negative 3. And f prime of 0, 3, will equal 27 minus 36 plus 8 is negative 1. Well, you can see that uh, that's this point down here, right as we expected. 
that's 3, negative 3, slope of negative 1, that checks out good. So, I clear up some space. The equations of your lines for the answer is going to be y equals Sorry, um, space now for a second. 6x, nope, so 8x, 8x. Not quite sure what I was thinking there for a second. And the other equation is going to be y equals negative x. These are the equations of the two lines, and they occur on the graph at the points 0 and 3. Uh, I hope this question helped expand your knowledge of the derivative. Please visit www.free-academy.com for more lectures. And remember, ask any question to our website. If it's relevant, we'll post an answer to it right away. Have a good day.